Well, I came out here to shovel off the hoop house, but it looks like it doesn't need it at all. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been doing such a, sorry guys, it's like 5 a.m. <laughs> My words aren't working yet. It has been such a good thing with sliding of the snow. I have only had to come out here maybe twice all winter long and we get a lot of snow. So there's really not much. Look how much it's slid down. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> I suppose I can go in there and tap it a little bit. So peaceful. It's heavy. Wow. It's super heavy snow. There's only a couple inches on it. All right, I'm gonna get this done. See the snow build up on the side? <laughs> That's not great. <laughs> we usually come through with the snow plow and take away the edges, but because it's the end of April here, what is it? April 19th? So as soon as the weather turns today, they said it's gonna start melting fast. So we will see if I need to take care of that today. Guess who doesn't care that it's snowing? Guess who don't care? She don't care. <laughs> She's so pretty. Everything else looks pretty happy. Lots of stuff happening. Or lots of stuff is gonna happen in here. Hi, flower friends. Guess who's back? <laughs> it's no big deal. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. We have some snow, glorious snow. Oh. So now that it's brighter out, look at how high, like this is not good, but I really think it's gonna be fine. It's gonna melt. It's gonna be in the 40s and then 50s and then 60s all within the next 48 hours. I think it's gonna be okay. Wow, that was a lot of snow. So here's all the Lysianthus hanging out here. It's looking great. This right here is, uh, let's see, I think it's a 50 plug tray of, oh, 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 hello. Wow, it's really built up on that side again. I just, well, I guess it's been two hours. <laughs> Maybe I should do it again. Okay, back to that. That's mountain mint that I'm going to be planting. This is a 50 plug. Let's see if I can get a closer look. So there is the plug. This is how it came. It just came the other day. And they they trimmed it. They trimmed it right here. Um, but it, otherwise, looking great. And it is a perennial in this area. I will be putting it in a spot where it can stay forever. Do you see how deep this tray is? I'm so excited to reuse this. It's seriously, it's five inches, I think. It's awesome. So they have forecast nine to 12 inches of snow for our area. We definitely got at least that and it's not gonna stop all day. But I was really concerned because the winds were really high last night. We had a gust of, I think 35 was our highest gust. But when you have a hoop house and it's windy, you don't sleep. <laughs> You're constantly worried about, okay, all right, is the back gonna blow out? Is the front gonna come off? Is the side gonna whip out? Like, is it secure? Is it okay? For a portion of those winds, I was in here watering because I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get the hose out here for the next couple of days. And I just was watering and the winds were whipping and this thing was like shaking. It was actually a little bit scary, not gonna lie, but it's gonna be okay. Everything is okay. Everything is fine. So everything in here is good. We are supposed to get some heavy winds and I'm telling you, we don't have power right now. 
The only reason I have power on in the house is because I have a whole house generator. My father is actually one of the people who install them locally. He's an electrician, but he installs generators too. So yeah, we have a whole house generator. It's a big investment to put in a whole house generator, but it does kind of save the day a lot. Is that a tear? I think there's a tear in the plastic up there. Oh, Thrip. Houston, we have a problem. We have a tear. There's a tear right above, right above there, right where there's a screw. It's like it, it kind of like hit the screw and there's a tear. Great. Another problem. So at this point, all we can do is sit and wait. I did harvest some daffodils yesterday, just about a dozen, just the ones that were already cracked open and they were hanging their heads. So I brought those inside. I'm gonna enjoy them myself. I did email my CSA members yesterday. The CSA is basically a, a bouquet membership where they get bouquets once a week and they pay for those in advance. And my CSA members, I, was, I notified them yesterday that we should have flowers by the end of the month because this snow, it will be gone. It's a pain in the butt but it's not going to be a deal breaker for the season. I still think I'm gonna have tulips ready for Mother's Day. I know that I'm gonna have daffodils ready for Mother's Day. I think it's gonna be okay. So does it stink while it's here? And obviously let people have, roofs have blown off houses, barns have collapsed, trees are down, power is down. There are bigger problems than my flowers right now. So I'm not too concerned. Everything is just gonna be okay. I feel like that side of the greenhouse gets all the attention. Wanted to bring it over. This is my stock down here. Some of it's getting quite large. I'm excited to see when it blooms for me because it wasn't, I don't think, until the end of June last, last season. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm bouncing all over the place. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at what's going on around the farm. Listen, I've got so much stuff happening that I want to show everything and I'm trying to do as much as I can, but I have things to unbox. I have things to share with you guys. I have seedlings to show you. I have grow along seeds to plant. I have so much to do and I'm gonna tease this right now, but I have some pretty big news coming up that I wanna share with you guys, but I have to keep um, mums the word until, uh, until some things are secured. So anyway, I have so much to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing all that. I have to go pot stuff up, I have to start seeds, I have to do this. It's spring, even though it looks like winter, it's spring. Whoa, something just broke. So in preparation for the storm, I had taken the plastic off of the tulips. <laughs> you can kind of see where they are. There's like a big lump there, a big lump there. I don't know if you, yeah, there are lumps right there, but yeah, the tulips are all safe under here. They will be fine. Snow is an insulator. They'll be okay. It's not even that cold out. It's 33 degrees. <sighs> so we'll just have to, wait and see according to these footprints it looks like we got about a foot but everywhere else it's only about eight inches i mean it's super pretty though right <laughs> oh no our generator is running we don't have power this is one of my apple trees i don't want that to break another little apple tree over here shake that off April 19th. Fresh snow. The snow is so heavy. Oh wow, it is like a slushy in here. All right, birdies, I'm trying. I know my chickens are not gonna be happy about this. Normally they run out of here like crazy, but they won't today. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? <laughs> oh, you coming out? Yeah, no. They're like, no, nah, thanks. Hi, where am I looking? Oh, yeah. <sighs> it's fine. It's really not a big deal. Ooh, there's some people. Oh, gosh. It's, it's pretty. I don't know. The snow is adding up here. Yeah, the snow is adding up here. The snow is adding up here. It's 38 degrees in here. In case you needed it now. It's really weird lighting in here. I look gray. I look ashen. Snow just keeps coming off. <laughs>